What's up? Good morning. What's up, YouTube? There was many times in my life where I felt like I literally didn't hug anybody for weeks at a time. I had no physical touch. I felt very alone. I felt like um, I was just not able to feel love and I felt like I was too much for everyone and life was very isolating feeling and the bond that Moxie and I formed was based off from the consistency that she provided me that love that I could just hold her in my heart for an hour a day and no one else could really be there for me or do that for me and a lot of the time I felt I wasn't heard I wasn't listened to I needed to sum it up I wasn't um, I was interrupted often and I think that even when we it's very easy to feel alone even when we come from a good family or uh, you know everybody goes through stuff and some people's fight or flight kicks in and it's just really too hard to manage um, you know feel like your needs are important and that's kind of when I um, when I just left and so instead of coping and learning those coping mechanisms I was fighter you know I, I the flight kicked in and um, so anyway this evening I would like to offer as a offering of a meditation to bring love and kindness into your heart and also awareness that we are never alone you are never alone we are never alone we are all in this together so let's go ahead and close our eyes and get quiet. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Hold it. Exhale, release through your mouth. Do it again. In through your nose. Three, two, one. Hold three, two, one and release. Let's do that again. We'll hold for longer. Inhale for five, four, three, two, one. Hold, five, four, three, two. Sip in a little bit more. Hold and release, let it go. Through the mouth is fine. Inhale one more time through the nose. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold. Sip in a little bit more. Hold. Three, two, one. This heel, exhale through your nose it's on a slow eight count. Six, five, four, three, two, one. So I invite you to open your eyes and think about five things that you can see. Think about one thing that you can hear, maybe another thing that you can hear. Think about what you can smell right now and what you can touch. Now think about, are there any pets that you have that have been able to keep you feeling love when no one else was there for you, when you were alone? How do you soothe yourself when you're alone? Now if you don't have any pets, do you have Just go ahead and place your hand on your heart and go ahead and close your eyes again. Moxie's stomping because she wants to come back up here. <laughs> you can go ahead and close your eyes again, place your, placing your hand on your heart, feeling your heart beat or you're just doing your chest. Take a deep breath in now that your eyes are closed for five, through your nose, four, 
three, two, one, hold, sip in a little bit more, three, two, one, hold, three, two, one, exhale, release through the nose, five, four, three, two, one, one more time, inhale through the nose, five, four, three, two, one, hold here, sip in a little bit more, exhale, release slowly, actually you can exhale through your mouth and let it out, Anxiety is reduced when we can listen to, we can think about what we can hear, see, touch, feel, and taste. What are the senses around you that can reduce anxiety? And love can be felt in your heart. Not just when you, only when you have a pet to hold, but when you can place your hand on your heart and just get quiet with your brain and feel that infiniteness inside you and really learn that. For me, it wasn't so easy. It took years, but eventually I could, through breathing and being dunking my head under water and learning how to scuba dive and being on many travels, understanding that we are never alone. I just seeing so many signs along the way, feeling desolate, not looking for anything, but just seeing things that open my eyes to realize that we are always guided and especially that that's always there for us. So all we really have to do is ask. Um, Now I'd like to invite you to do another exercise with me. I'd like you to, um, you can grab a pen and paper if, if you think it'll help you or you can go ahead and just visualize this in your mind. Um, all right. So while sitting with either your eyes open or your eyes closed, I'd like you to now think or jot down journaling Four people who your life has impacted and why. And imagine what their lives, how you enhance their lives and acknowledge how their life would be so different without you. Imag realize how much you have enhanced their life for the positive and how much good you've done to help them. Go ahead and take a moment to write these thoughts down and really come to understanding the impact that you've had on each and every one of these family members, friends, knowing that you're the value that you provided them. Now go ahead and think of a few more people. These could be people that you're really close to, that are in your life that you've known for a really long time. Perhaps they're people that you just met. Perhaps they're people in passing. Could just be a smile or a wave. But on a grander scale, how different this world would be if you weren't here. So many times we feel like our life is insignificant or not important. And I think everybody feels that way at some point, maybe hopefully not, but you know, sometimes, sometimes people don't feel that way and it, it's wonderful and they're blessed. But I think it's really easy sometimes to slip into, especially nowadays, I think it's uh, life can be tough and um, Moxie wants to come back up. So 
So I invite you to understand all the people that really you have impacted, you have brought happiness in their life. So if you're feeling sad, if you're feeling down, maybe even a little nervous or anxious, understanding that you have life all around you, you have support everywhere, you have infinite support, you have infinite love, and that love is not just around you, and but it's inside of you, and it's in your own heart, and it's acknowledging that love for self so that you can shine and share your love with the other with others and it's not being afraid of your own love or afraid of your own power but it's really standing in opening yourself up allowing the love to come in allowing your own power to be present and stand firmly in your power so that you can in turn, be yourself comfortably and be who you were meant to be. I think in life, it gets really, it can get really hard sometimes to hear your own inner voice and do things just out of service based on, on, on what, I think in life it can get really hard sometimes to to really tune into your inner voice and do things for the right reason a reason of service of purpose and not just that but just knowing that being yourself is really the greatest purpose that you can serve and feeling comfortable with be, being yourself all the time, you know, and being able to be yourself and being able to just feel comfortable in your own skin. Because when you are you, that is when you're the best that you can be. So allow your true colors to shine. Don't be afraid of it. I hope this meditation, journaling, exercise journey has been helpful to you. We also do, um, sunk down into our heart and could feel a little bit of our loving kindness and compassion, not just for people that you love, but people that you have helped and understanding your own significance in this life. So please continue to remember your own importance when you're feeling less than worthy, less than important. Maybe you feel like your life there's no purpose to it or it has no meaning. Just remember that you have animals here to comfort you. If you don't, you have your own hand to place on your heart to soothe you and help remind you that you're loved. Give yourself that self-compassion. And if you're just having an anxiety attack, just remember to close your eyes and breathe or just open your eyes. Sometimes it could be happening driving could be happening anywhere you are and not being afraid to just notice the things around you get back into your senses get back into your body because with today's life with all of the digital technology with so many distractions so much you know reasons and things that can distract us and make us feel overwhelmed it's all the more important to tune back in to your inner heart, which you can hear a lot easier if you slow down your breath, close your eyes, focus on your breathing, and that is always going to help take you back home, take you back into your internal, internal, scent, internal self where you can hear your voice, where you can feel at peace, where you can 
feel complete and whole and self-accepting of yourself. I, the light in me honors the light in you and all of our imperfections. No one is perfect. I am dedicated to serve you and I'm dedicated to becoming my best self, sending love and light. I acknowledge the light and power in you and I hope that you can see the light and power in me too. Namaste. Please like and subscribe to this channel. I'm new to YouTube. My name is Kellyanne Rose. If you have any comments, comment below. And I hope to see you next time. Take care. From Moxie and I. Bye.